what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap 4 beta ultimate 10 projects course and as the name already suggests in this course we'll be learning bootstrap 4 beta which is the latest version of bootstrap by building 10 projects so what we're going to be building so these will be our projects and as a side note the projects will be responsive and i have made all project intros available for preview so if I skip over something or if you want to explore in further detail or if you just want to make sure that I'm not trying to sell you cat in a bag, you can go, go ahead in the car's content and you can go ahead and check it out all the previews for each and every project. What we're going to be building. So these are going to be our 10 projects. And the first project we're going to call only Bootstrap. Because over here, what we're going to do is we're going to build a project and we're actually trying to avoid using any CSS. So overall, we're going to use only like four rules of CSS just for the images and as a background, right? And everything else is going to be actually built with a bootstrap. So as you can see, the colors are not the prettiest, but these are the colors actually that come with the bootstrap. Now, once we're done with only bootstrap project, then it's going to be the portfolio project we're going to, where we're going to start using a little bit more CSS. And over here, you can see that what we're going to be building over here, right? Then once we're done with portfolio, we have a app project, right? Which is going to be like a app landing site over here like this. So this, this project is going to look something like this. Then after that, we're going to have a full bootstrap, which is going to be one of our long projects because we have few of the long ones. And over here, we're pretty much just building section after section of the bootstrap sections how we would make them right now obviously we're not going to make all of them all of the bootstrap sections that are out there right but what we're trying to do is cover as much as ground as we can right so if you need to add any kind of section over here to your projects you can go go ahead over here and you can check it out and you can actually add it to your project right then after that we'll have a music app project where over here we're going to create a mock-up music app and for this project the first thing that we're going to do, we're actually going to use a jQuery owl plugin, right? So over here you can see that as I'm clicking, right, I'm using the plugin and you can see that I have responsive images, right? And obviously, like I said, I'm going to be using, we're going to be using a lot of CSS. So if I skip over something, please go ahead uh, to the course content and just check it out, the actual preview for the project. So over here, this is going to be our, another owl, right? And you can see that we're gonna actually going to change the inside of the hour color cell, right? So this is not going to be the standard one. This is actually, we're going to customize it a little bit with the jQuery, right? And over here, you can see that this is going to be our menu to the left. Then after that, we're going to have a bootstrap base theme, right? Where we're going to start Im implementing more and more CSS. And also, this is going to be the project. We're going to actually have a light box, right? So over here, you can see that images. And if I'm clicking over, right, you can see that we have a nice image gallery. Now, once we're done with this project, then we're going to have our social theme project over here. Where we're going to make a social mock-up theme, right? And this mostly is working actually with the cards, right? So over here we'll have a menu and this is going to be our card section. So we're going to be exploring how to use the cards. There's going to be some CSS effects over here. And obviously, like I said, this is going to be responsive. So just, again, as always, go and check it out in the actual preview. And you'll see what we'll be doing in a little bit more detail. Then over here, this is going to be our admin theme, right? And here we're going to be working with chart.js, right? So if I refresh the page, you can see that how the charts are appearing, right? So we're going to look at that. Obviously, as always, these are going to be the cards. Then we're going to look at the menu, how to make these menu items look like this, right? Then after that, we're going to have our Facebook theme over here. We're going to try to make a little mock-up Facebook, right? And over here, these would be our posts. This would be our online nine. And this would be over here, our, uh, not our feed, but the people who are on there, right? Then over here, we would have the last project, which would be the agency, right? And this is where we're going to be actually pulling all our CSS and all our bootstrap together, right? So we'll start over here. This is going to be our banner, right? Our nav bar. And this is going to be our banner with a heading one. Then these are going to be two buttons. Then we're going to have some font awesome. Then we're going to look at how to actually make something like this with CSS. This is going to be our services, right? Then we're going to check it out how we can make these shapes in CSS. And obviously with the bootstrap, how we can actually 
um, position them together. This is going to be our subscribe over here. Then we're going to have our future projects, right, where we're going to be using a jQuery plugin, right, to get this kind of effect, right? So we have a gallery, but actually we can filter of which images would you be showing. Then this is going to be about the section, right, with a accordion, right, and with an image over here and with the background. Then we're going to have our current projects, right, and we're going to look at how we can make it with the CSS this effect, right? So basically our overlay is showing up once we hover over. Then over here, this is going to be the actual also plugin, right, where the numbers are going to be counting over here like this. Then this is going to be our team section, right? So we're going to check it out again, as always, how to work with the cards. Then over here, this is going to be our progress bar. This is going to be our prices, right? So again, we're going to check it out how to work with cards to make this uh, kind of look. Then over here, this is going to be another jQuery owl, right? Over here, so as we sk skip over here, you can see that they're going to be appearing. And the last one is going to be over here in the footer. It's going to be our Google Maps, and this is going to be a little check boxes, right? So like I said, I might have skipped over something, so you're more than welcome to go ahead in a preview and check it out, whether you would like the projects that we're working on. But there's definitely going to be tons of material and tons of things to work on. And I can assure you by the time you're going to be done with this course, you're going to be nothing but a bootstrap for beta expert.